Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Have you ever wondered what games you should sell or you should use? Find out here at Purdue's. Find out on our top 10 list what games you cannot miss. Don't forget to subscribe to Purdue's. Hospital Rush, this is a take that worker placement game with a tech tree. If that sounds interesting to you, then this is your game. So what they decided to do with this game was go with a caricature of how a hospital is ran. There's stealing, there's, let's see, some of the people that are sick are Jim Carls, Quentin Quarantino, Sherlock Mumps, Scarlet Fever. So there's a lot of play on words and parodies of celebrities in this. There's a little bit of a tech tree. Well, there. I has to, maybe it's not tech tree. Maybe it's just you can get more powers or more abilities. Um, it's worker placement, but very simple. Um, you know, I said this when I was playing this, and this is not a. It's not a knock on it, but if you were trying to get the Munchkin crowd into board games, this is probably a good gateway for game for them. It's going to have the screwage, introducing the worker placement gonna have the humor um, and it's a decent game inside it's just it's got probably a little more too screw too much screwage in it for me um, I think I'm gonna purge this one it just probably isn't enough there from us not play a worker placement I might want to play something different uh, on the flip side I could see how this game would be used um, with getting lighter gamers and something heavy so Normally, I would purge this game. I'm going to keep this game because I think it fits into my collection and has a unique perspective. Of I can bring some gamers in it, and I got a group that might enjoy this game, and I would play it again. So, Hospital Rush is going to be Keeper. It's not a wonderful game, but it fits a niche in my collection. Now, it has humor. It has worker placement. It has screw you, and it has a really neat little thing where... You can go to these spots on the board that will give you more power, a little more powerful than the other spots, but people can can tell on you for using these kind of questionable means. And if they do, you have to give something up when they do that. So uh, going first is nice, as most worker placements, you get your choice of the board, but going last is nice because you can take those powerful ones without the fear of somebody telling on you. So that's kind of interesting. There's a little push and pull to... Uh, who should go first? Uh, the humor is funny. I like seeing the parodies. You know, of course, that's going to get old over time, but it's always nice, especially when somebody sees it for the first time. And the game moves rather quickly, to be honest. 30 to 60 minutes, what the box says, I think that's fair. Um, it scales well from 3 to 5. There's no two player variant in the box, which is disappointing. Uh, but overall, Hospital Rush is maybe something, you know, the theme is unique. I always like playing theme hospital on the PlayStation and the computer. Um, this isn't exactly that, but the theme is neat and funny, so this might have a place in your collection. Check it out, Hospital Rush. Here are the components for Hospital Rush. You're going to get a very comical box front, which is really cool. The artwork this is very funny, and if you like this sort of humor, it's a little bit... It's not dark, it's just, you know, the doctors are all stabbing each other and getting paid under the table, and it's all kinds of crazy things. It's hilarious. Uh, you're going to get a rule book. That's uh, pretty good. I like this rule book. It's okay. Most of it's just the worker placement describing the spaces, which is normal on a worker placement game. You're going to get a cardboard board that will fold out in an awkward way, and you'll get that. There, oh, let, me, let me show you some things about this. I shouldn't read re this. So there's like funny artwork everywhere. Do you see this? Like These are like NASCAR guys pushing him in. You got a guy here. I mean, it's just very comical. There's artwork everywhere on this. This guy, he's not happy about cleaning up this mask. This guy vomited. It's just very, very funny. So the artwork, I mean, the board, uh, it may look like a mess now when I explain it. Hopefully it won't be. It is double-sided depending on the number of players. Uh, let's see what we have here. So we have money in this game. And you're going to get a number of money. 
And these little check marks, which will help with your, I call them a tech tree, but really just abilities you can get. And these are, these are pretty standard and, and good quality. You're gonna get um, pills, 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 pills. And these are just little cardboard chits that are really nice and the pills come in different colors and uh, very good. So they, you have your band-aids, which are white, just like the same, same quality, just a band-aid is on there instead. You're gonna get a first per player token. Kind of funny, the thumb is bleeding. I guess that's funny. Uh, you're gonna get a number of player boards. Each one is unique because you have a different power. So you get Marina Clementina, Dai Barbie, Freddie Funster, Dare Druckerberg, Vanessa Todd, the doctor's pet, Kurt Van Schneider, the scumbag, Arthur Coolidge, Mr. Perfect, Susie Weiss, the nerd, Theo Goodberg, the crook, and you know what? I think she was on the German side. Yep, Maria Clementine, Clementina, the hottie, and let me flip this one over. Freddie Funster, the slacker. So, all this is supposed to be archetypes, I guess, and each one does something different. So this guy, discard opponent's patient. However, for each bandage already on that, you must pay one buck to the bank. So these are like worker replacement things that only you can do. Take one medicine of your choice from an opponent or as a patient. So this game has some screws. Perform a hospital action with the main board that's already occupied. So some of these might be better than others. I don't think that's a secret. It's just that sort of game, but I think they try really hard to be balanced. Um, you're gonna get a number of cards. And these cards you get for your person really is just the power of what's on your card. So if somebody wants to see your power, you can just pass this around, I guess. I don't know why you would use that over your board. And you're gonna get a bunch of patients, which, let's see if I can do any justice here. Samuel Cold, ooh, we got Booger coming out. Mo Mento, Bob Pickety, Woody Allergy, Walt Kidney, we're here in Orlando, so we like our Walt Disney. Quentin Quarantino, Leonardo Diabetico, Bruno Scars, I'm told he's some kind of singer or something. Al Fury, Sherlock Mump, Sharon Gallstone, Homer Ludens, Servius Scrape, Mott Riddle, Amadeus Tinnitus, Rubella Swan, Bruce Wayne, Jim Carries, Scarlet Fever, Antonia Bandagoras, Lulu Vogel, Mar Mal Malaria Croft, some of these are really hard to say, Jacob X Bully, and Samuel Cold. So they're all just play on words and they're supposed to be funny. And then you're going to get a number of these wooden bits that you've probably seen in a million other games. Um, these little peoples that you're gonna get, and markers, and they're all really good. Everything, everything is really well made. Uh, it's your classic board game here with good components, fun art, and everything is really well made. And the game like this, it's just gonna rely on the gameplay to be fun or not. The rule book for Hospital Rush is, is full color. It's very well printed. And, and the majority of it's just describing the worker placement places on the board, which I think it does a pretty good job of. Um, the game is rather simple. It's not a very complicated game. And you should get this rule book, get through it maybe 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, really, if you've played worker placement before, it's not complicated. You really just need to look and see what all the spaces do. That's all it is. And spaces change on these things. And they work together pretty nicely. So I don't think you're going to have any problems with the rule book. you play I'm not gonna go over all the rules this size for three and four the other side is for less you're gonna have people up here that you're trying to cure each round these guys are gonna come off the board let me show you how malaria croft works so you will score four victory points right here and you only need ten to trigger the end of the game uh, she needs a purple medicine orange green and four white bandages and what you're gonna do is very simple you're gonna have two workers per turn and you're gonna place this guy on the board and there's always two spaces that you can take, okay? Um, and let me just kinda, of, what you're doing is you're taking these bandages and medicines and you're putting them on these people and then if you meet the requirement to heal them, then at the end of the round, you'll heal them and you'll get the victory points, okay? Some of these guys will have two on them so you can do either or or both for three victory points, one, or total four, if you're able to get it all on there. Um, so 
what you'll do is you'll put your workers out, you'll get your stuff and do things, then they'll be cured, and then the last one will come off, and everybody else will put new on. And that's how it, that the game works. Let me show you the spaces on the board. I think the easiest way for me to do this is probably just lift it up and show you. So I'll go over each space. If you're trying to learn the game, it'll make a little more sense. So here is how you get bandages. So you're working with these white ones. Let me show you Malaria Croft again. What did I do with her? Uh, here she is. So Malaria requires four of these white bandages. If you put one guy here, you get two bandages. And for one dollar, for every dollar you spend, you get an extra bandage. And that goes directly onto the person. More than one person can put it here. Um, you get one bandage and for every dollar. So if you're the first person, you get two. Here you get medicine for one. The first person, you get two medicine. Each other person's one. And then for one dollar, you can buy the second one. Okay? This one, for you can spend three dollars, get three bandages. This one is just one for one. Now the bandages will be placed here and there'll be a number of them. So there might only be four in the game. So if, if they're up on the patients, you might go to the medicine cabinet and there won't be any orange there, let's say. So those are finite. Then what you're gonna have here is you're trying to get player order. So whoever goes here will be the first player, he'll get two bucks. That's what that signifies, first player. The second player to go there gets three bucks, but will be second player, three bucks, but third player and fourth bu four bucks and fourth player. So you want to try to hold off, depending on where you want to be in the order, and I'll explain why that's important in a second. Here you get uh, three bucks if you do. Uh, you pay three dollars, and then you get to uh, do one of these. So for intensive care, you get an extra advantage when you're treating somebody. The pharmacy, you get a free medicine when you're discharging. Uh, you get two dollars extra when you discharge management. You can discard a cured patient immediately. You don't have to wait till their turn because some of the cards will steal people from you. Then you have the final exam. Um, and what you're gonna have here for two dollars, you get to do your final exam, and you get one victory point when you accomplish that. Um, what you're also gonna have here is you can steal from people. So for everybody who's done one of these two red spaces, which I'll get to in a second, you get a dollar or a victory point. And what this is, this is our sneaky things you can do where you can steal from people, or in this one you just bribe and get victory points. This allows you to steal from people and you can bribe. But if you're not last in order, unless you're the last person going, somebody can go here and rat you out. That's why there's a rat there, because he can, he can rat you out for that and when he does you can definitely get in trouble for it so these you only want to do if because because if you do one of these and somebody picks the rat then they will steal money or victory points from you so you only want to do this if you're sure nobody's going to do the rat from you and the rat that isn't very useful unless somebody goes here and, the, and if somebody goes to these points then this becomes more important and the flip side is kind of the same thing and this is for five players so it's pretty much the same thing you just have more options on the board now the bandages will automatically go on the patients where the medicine is a little bit more tricky to get that out there um, you will play a number of rounds until somebody gets 10 victory points um, and at that point whoever has the most um, points will be considered the winner. Let me make just a couple of clarifications here to be sure. So when you take the medicine, you get it. And when you go here, you can either put free bandages on people or the medicine. So if you if somebody's requiring these medicine, they need to go here first and then here to put it on. The white bandages are free here. Uh, one thing I said backwards was this is where you take the final exam and and this is where you study so the study is where you fill these up and that's where these check marks are going to come in and once you get one of these these are extra powers that you will have and when you get it all filled up you take the final exam and you'll get if you do this you get one victory point for each spot that you filled up so that can be a very powerful way but i just want to make sure i 
that was clear when I explained it. Who should play this game? I think light gamers who are willing to make a jump a little bit. If you like playing the Munchkin, screw you, take that kind of games. This is a Euro with that. Um, there are luck in it, but it's still worker placement. It's, it, it might be a good starter for worker placement if you're coming from a particular background. Um, I don't know that it would be a worker placement game that I would start people with, but I could see people who like those Munchkin and uh, Wizards on Skull Fire type games are just very luck based that would be into this because it's got that screw you factor in it which you don't usually see in pure Euros. Um, people who appreciate the humor, I realize that's only going to go so far the first couple plays. Um, you, can, you can get really screwed but you're only trying to get 10 victory points in this game so even if you had 3 and somebody else had 10 you don't feel like you're that far behind even though you really are. Um, it's really easy to understand. You got sick people and you're giving them medicine. So I think people that haven't played a lot of games can, can see the theme and that's going to help push the game along. It's going to make it a lot easier. And there's humor not only in the parodies, but there's going to be humor in the, um, you know, the fact that doctors are only after money and looking to, I don't know, be shady or shysters or something. And, and that's all pretty well told to you in the front of the box, which is very humorous. Um... You know, if I was being honest, probably not the greatest game in the world, but it can be a fun game. And really, that's what it comes down to sometimes. If you were theming a night around Euros and you wanted something a little bit lighter to start the game out, I think uh, Hospital Rush could accomplish that. Just go in knowing there's going to be some screw you in it, and there's going to be factors of luck, and I think you'll have a good time. So I'm going to keep it. It's a hesitant keep. I think it has a place in my collection uh, to bring some people into heavier games for me, which is what I'm always looking to do. Hospital Rush, keeper for now. For now.